Hello guys, Christopher is here and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Now, I am quite excited for this episode because in last episode we've actually managed to unlock the next island, Isla Muerta. So, yeah, let's do it. I mean, it means that we can, this episode, actually go there and build the next park. So, I'm so excited for this. Um, also, there has been dropped, um, well... Um, there was a uh, an update that dropped uh, a few days ago, I believe it was in the 22nd uh, of June, so yeah, um, it was insane. So um, it has brought us new dinosaurs, um, a new hybrid, um, and it's awesome, so that's really 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 awesome. Um, and yeah, um, Without further ado... Ooh. Three words. Contract. You. Yes. Okay, well that's actually very very good because apparently if we... Um, well, apparently we need to achieve and gain a lot more um, well, popularity in both the science and entertainment division of this island of Isla Matanceros in order to unlock uh, two well, two more dinosaurs for this park that we we could have unlocked if we have reached um, those goals. So this contract actually adds to our uh, reputation in both of, in the two of those uh, both of those uh, divisions. So that's that's incredible, absolutely incredible. At first, I got into this because it was my job, but then I saw what we do here. It's a kind of magic. The value of these animals is so much more than just financial. Okay, Claire. Okay. Um, anyway, so, yeah, let's, um, wait, what's going on? Oh, that, that's the mission, the, um, we are really really close to that actually wow okay so um let's go to isla muerta shall we okay this island is going to be a little bit more difficult because of the storms and stuff i guess but we'll see what's happening here As if prehistoric creatures weren't enough to contend with, on this next island, Isla Muerta, you may have uh, some meteorological events. You know, storms, extreme weather, that kind of thing from time to time. Told you, storms. Told you. Whoa. As you can see, the weather on, on this on? island can be a little temperamental. First thing you're going to want to do is fix any damage this storm has caused. You should use a ranger team to get the park operational again. Oh, and don't forget to close any emergency shelters when it's safe to do so. Guests won't spend their hard-earned dollars huddled in a bunker underground, will they? Hmm? No, they will not. Okay, so I will uh, repair everything. Quite the storm, and it seems that bad weather is often a precursor to bad behavior from the dinosaurs. If you believe that everything is connected, the so-called butterfly effect, and I do believe it, by the way, then one small change is all it takes to create a series of toppling dominoes leading to rampaging dinosaurs. And they don't make a butterfly net big enough to stop them. <laughs> okay, nice word play. Nice word play. Um, anyway, so I will fix everything up. And I'll see you again once I do. Two hours later. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I've done a little bit more than just repair the damages. I've actually built a few um, a few buildings that we simply weren't here before. So um, first of all, I have noticed that there is something called uh, the storm defense station on this island that apparently has a radius now 
you want to have as much um, buildings or as much um, things in this radius because it would actually um, well defend those buildings from storms so if it means like physical damage or even uh, electrical um, outages so that that's very very help uh, helpful uh, as you can see you, we have the small power station within its range so that's smart and then I've decided to create another one here uh, so that it could you know protect everything here however um, it's currently out of power because we have only one small power station which isn't enough for everything here but that's absolutely fine um, currently anyway so also I have built uh, first of all I've built the ACU center then I've built the expedition center then the fossil center and then the research center now we need to create another um, small power station so that we can will be able to um, power those up or alternatively we could actually um, simply research uh, you see um, we've unlocked a few researchers um, well a few researchers that we can actually research so um, just because we have two research centers right so uh, one in on each uh, island that we have so uh, I believe it's here yes improved output too so that's better than uh, the previous one it's supposed to be better but we cannot actually research uh, the this here because we only have 225,000 instead of 300,000 so I believe that we can research it on Isla Matanceros where we have about 10 million dollars let's see let us see yeah we have about 10 10 million dollars there so that's that shouldn't be a problem okay so let's see um, which places we actually can go to you know to expedite um, because I think there are new places I think there are new dinosaurs that we can get so there's there's that um, so yeah okay oh there's an animation every time we go to the we come back to the islands oh I see man it's laggy okay so also we have a few uh, things to research so I, I believe there are new things like new important things so um no new fossils up uh, yeah um the genetics i think shouldn't bother us too much because those are like you know uh, aesthetics and that's a little bit um later this is kind of important okay okay so we want this one right so we can upgrade our power uh, upgrades you know we can um, upgrade our output power output output so that's great um, and we can't actually see it but we can actually research the monorail okay that's what we want actually that's great when we've just been here and we have the enclosures so viewing platforms that's another good thing and the uh, heavy steel okay <laughs> um okay so um yeah also like I said um, new sites to expedite um, let's see what's going on so we have the Ankylosaurus 
which I think is new. Yeah, it's partially completed, uh, depleted. Wait. Well, I guess it means like that it's all not all new. Like um, only several of those dinosaurs are new. For example, the Ankylosaurus, and I believe the Corythosaurus, right? Yeah, the Corythosaurus seems to be in all three of them, and the Ankylosaurus. So I guess those are the new ones. Do we have any more new ones? Oh, we have. Okay, we do. So we have the Dilophosaurus. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I I've been waiting for that one. And the Chankinkosaurus. Which I have no idea how it looks like. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. And the Velociraptor. Oh, well, that's nice. Very nice, okay, so we have two Velociraptors. Also, look at how this is partially depleted, so I guess, and this, it, it doesn't say that on them, but, so, I guess that's actually what it means. I kind of want the Dilophosaurus and the Chankingosaurus, so, yeah, let's go here. Interesting. Very interesting, actually, wow, I'm getting kind of psyched about it. Um, and we also have this, um, um, contract that we've got, uh, in the very s beginning of the episode, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. Um, so, that's a nice, that's nice, um, however, um, how do we do it is a different question. <laughs> um, I guess, uh, oh, I don't want to come here. Uh, I guess with a better uh, island rating, we get uh, more profit. But then again, who knows? Um, so yeah, I'll return to you when uh, the research is complete and the, um, you know, and we'll be able to move forward. So I have researched um, the, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the upgrade for the, yeah, the improved output uh, 2, 2.0. So we might even um, place them in those uh, stations. Um, the, uh, the fossils have arrived, so we have a Chunkingosaurus, so apparently this is how it looks like, and the Dilophosaurus, which is very consulting. <laughs> anyway, um, so what's that? Also, um, we had uh, we achieved another um, another contract for the uh, science division, so that's great. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. So we have that, uh, and you know what? One now that I'm, now that I think about it, why not actually um, start expediting for Velociraptor DNA as well? Um, and we also have the Monorail station because we've actually learned how, or oh, or oh, actually researched the Monorail. Now, funny enough, uh, I believe it was. Um, it was commented on the second episode uh, that, um, and I think that the person who, di who, who has done that is absolutely right. I feel like people don't really like going by foot everywhere, so um, some sort of, um, you know, of um, a way of trans of uh, transportation through this uh, walkway could be nice. Um, However, the only transportation we have is um, the monorail. And at that time we didn't have it, but now we've, we've actually researched. So we've actually researched the monorail and we can place it in the parks. However, I don't, I don't think like, I don't, I don't think that I will uh, install and build a monorail at this park, not at least today. Um, Maybe at other times, um, and I don't really want to work 
um, a lot um, on this uh, on this island. So I might do uh, more um, more contracts off camera on this island just so we could not the fast food, sorry, just so we could um, in fact get enough uh, reputation in the science in both the science and ent uh, entertainment division so that we can unlock the Cretonzorus and the Xenoceratops so yeah hopefully that's going to happen someday anyway um yeah sorry about that so let's come back to Isla Muerta great now we don't have a lot of money in Isla Muerta um, and in order to have income we actually have to have dinosaurs in in our park so I guess this is what we're going to do also I believe there is uh, a way of asking for contracts or something like that uh, I don't really know but maybe there is it, it would have made it makes sense for it to be there for something like that to exist and if there is something like that I wonder how we can access it because it can it can help us get um, a decent sum of money to start uh, our whole new park so and we also have fossils and that's wow that's a lot of money um you know what that's interesting maybe like because of the velociraptors it makes me think that this these are the uh, fossils from the expedition we've just sent because i thought that the expeditions you know come and go from the sorry didn't mean to go here to the um to the fossil centers on the same island you know so that's really quite quite weird to me um but anyway so um let's hatch two new dinosaurs right let's hatch these truthio mimuses and let's upgrade our uh, small power stations our output power output which doesn't seem to have affected anything really which is well shocking actually so apparently Good work on that research thanks uh, also I've researched that as you can see but that's too expensive for us because we've bought those two um, I'm great great <laughs> Definitely not my finest moments, one of my finest uh, finest moments. But okay. So um, so yeah. Now this is going. I I think that this is going to be um, the herbivorous enclosure. This is going to be the carnivorous. Um, enclosure and I don't know what this is going to be if it's going to be anything oh don't look at this as extra work look at it as extra money and experience okay what the hell did you say about the triceratops and brains he said something like okay so we can modify its uh, cosmetics right so this is the alpine this is the arid 
I think we can also have something called Savanna, although I'm not too sure about it. So this is skin toughness because it's defense. Excuse me, this is attack. Unknown. Um, I guess. I don't know. That's quite weird. I, I I don't know what he said about the brain. He said release triceratops with brain aging modification. So we can modify it. Brain aging. What the hell is that? Brain aging. Can we can we research it? Maybe? Mayhaps. Let's see. Now now I'm getting interested. What's this um brain aging thing? Oh it's not that. No that. No that. No that, no that, it's not that, oh, so it's this one. Splashing this dream will increase the defense and lifespan trait. We want to increase the lifespan, yeah. Dinosaurs keep dying on us, so let's increase the lifespan. <gasps> no. Well, that's a shame. Let's incubate another Struthio Manus and let's release the first one. Amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome the Struthio Manus to the home. Oh, right. We need, uh, oh, wait, there's. Uh, there's already water, so I don't need to create water. That's great. Great. Um, yeah, okay. Um, what else do we need? Can we hatch a Triceratops? Yeah, okay, so money-wise we can. So that's good. Let's release our second Struthiomimus. Okay, so this is a big enclosure for only two dinosaurs, two small dinosaurs. Um, let's see if we can create any carnivores in this enclosure. Um, so we have the uh, ceratosauruses, but we don't want them currently. Um, we ha we don't have them yet so and we have the power outage oh so let's fix that see that's why we need an, another um oh okay so that's that's good that's why we need a um another um what's it called Small power uh, station, I believe it's called. I can't remember. <laughs> um, anyway. So, where is this power station? So, yeah. Um, also, this island is... The buildable area in this island is quite bigger than the uh, first island Control um, if you'll see here then you'll see that um, this entire area uh, is buildable see all of this and up until here so that's quite a large area um, not the biggest I believe that the biggest is Isla Sona but it is quite large um, 
to think that it's larger than Isla Matanceros and we haven't even built I think in well not not in maybe in half of Isla Matanceros I believe I, I can't I don't know how uh, how much we've built uh, on Isla Matanceros but you know we didn't build in the entire area the, the entire buildable area of that island so that's interesting um, and let's hatch a triceratops with the modified genome which I believe is supposed to be here yes apply gene so this is modified already yes so the lifespan and the defense increases but the and the rating increases good but the viability goes down decreases ah never mind our only hope is that it won't um fail because if it does then we're we we have problems <laughs> if it does um also we need more genome for these three dinosaurs so um let's expedite i guess where's the best place to expedite the dilophosaurus the velociraptor Dilophosaurus and the Chunkingosaurus. Well, I guess I want a um, I want more a Velociraptor than the Dilophosaurus. So yeah. Also, our Isla new island ratings increasing, so that's good. And we can create another enclosure here. I believe so, at least. For example, I mean, yeah, the borders are quite far away from there, so we can build another enclosure. We could, we could um, create quite a lot of space here. Also, this space could be an enclosure, so that's nice. Pla placing a gate here and, you know, closing it here, releasing, you know, um, demolishing the fences here. It could actually be nice. And the Triceratops is ready. Let's see. What a beauty. I mean, it doesn't look any different, but um, you know, nevertheless, a beautiful, beautiful creature. this up and the sky's the limit thanks so you know I want another triceratops but this time we'll, we'll modify it in a different way so let's see We have the alpine pattern gene and we have the arid pa pattern gene. Let's go with the alpine. It decreases our uh, dinosaur um, viability even further, but we can add the success rate 2.0. So that's actually quite Good. Let's see how much it adds. It adds 60. Oh. Well, that's good. Oh, that's too expensive now. Oh. 
I see. Well, now I'm interested. What if we modify um, the Edmontosaurus? It doesn't have any cos. Really? And the Ceratosaurus? It has a savanna. Oh, okay. Now I see. So let's hatch another Struthiomimus with a savanna pattern. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting. Now, I believe there's no way they'll fail incubating, so that's great. Um, and they are going to look quite different. Our first ever dinosaurs to be modified. Interesting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. Ready to for release. Oh, that's different. That's kind of beautiful actually. I like it. I really, really like it. Huh. So if we um, hatch a Dracorex or a Dracorex, or you know what? No. Let's let's create another um, Struthiomat, uh, Struthiomimus. The dying quickly as they, you know, as it is. Um, yeah. Let's. Add the arid pattern instead of the savanna pattern, right? We can't do both. No, we cannot do both. So let's incubate. Yeah, they look the same, right? With the this gene, they don't look different. And that's kind of disappointing, you know, that it's not a little bit different, that there's no difference. Wait... Yeah, there's no difference. As they look absolutely magnificent. They're, they're beautiful. They're like our own zebras, you know? The Jurassic zebras. <laughs> Okay, now I'm also interested in how this tutor minus will look like. Huh. That's very interesting, actually. I really, really like that. I don't know which I like more. This one, which, wow, the, the skin looks amazing. This one, or this one, which looks fantastic. Wow, okay. Ooh. I want to take this contract, which means you want to take it too, correct? Okay. Well, um, no, this is the research center. Where is the fossil center? Here it is. So, I believe we are able to add to the Velociraptor genome, um, you know, to 50%, I believe. I don't know. 
Ooh. But we can um, create a small power station now. So, so let's do it. Yeah, we we'll put it just on the path that connects to this place. So maybe we'll have to go like this around. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm so excited. Our first um, modified dinosaurs. That's so exciting, actually, to think that, you know, I've never thought that the changes would be that severe and that, you know, I thought the changes are going to be a lot more subtler, um, a lot more subtle, and they're not at all. They're kind of harsh, but they look beautiful, so it kind of... You know, it makes you wonder what exactly what exactly can the other you know other modifications do. It's interesting. Also, I don't know what's. Oh, it has no substation. Really? No, I don't want to do that. Come on. Oh, it's just in between them. Oh. Oh, that's bad. So what do we do? Do we act deactivate it and demolish it? Well, you know it's only twenty thousand. So you know, if anything, let's place it here. You know. Let the waste be a waste. Okay. Um, so we have... Oh, we don't have enough money. Money, money, money. Not even to the... Oh, wait. We do have enough money to come here. Oh, not here, apparently. Hmm. So guys, I think that this is going to be it for this episode. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. This has been quite a large episode for me to um, to record because I've had a lot of technical issues with uh, recording this episode. But also, this was a gym packed with so many things that it was insane. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean we've. We've finally started uh, a brand new park on a brand new island, so there's that. Um, we have new dinosaurs, new buildings. We've actually researched um, one build that I desperately wanted for so long and um, another upgrade. We've also uh, modified our first dinosaurs, which is has been quite um, shocking, actually. And we have, well, we've unlocked more um, expeditions, right? More sites f uh, for expeditions, more contracts, and we've nearly unlocked more dinosaurs amongst them, the Velociraptors and the Dilophosauruses, which I have expected, I have been expecting for so long, and they are finally, finally so close um, 
to our grasp so it's amazing um, so yeah um, I hope you all enjoyed it if you have please be sure to hit li that like button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you want to see more episodes just like this one please subscribe um, yeah um, uh, again I'll try to upload daily from now on but you know we, we all know that it's not going to work <laughs> right so yeah anyway um, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it and I'll, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.